Hey guys, this is my preview for June 9th Whatnot Auction. This is the full preview. Thank you for watching it. And thank you for listening to the preview on Whatnot or coming in from the show notes as instructed. I'm going to go slower over everything and describe some stuff, I guess. All this stuff can be run for $3 opening bid. I am going to start at 10 o'clock Eastern time. And at noon, I will do the pre-listed items. If there's something you want me to run, just send a message through whatnot. Not Jose. Jose is my emotional support taco. He's not for sale. That inkwell on the right was one of those ones that supposedly doesn't spill if you tip it over. Pretty nice looking scissors or shears. Klaus and Wiss. There's four decks of cards. Uh, one's rummy. And the one on the right there, the fire department one is sealed. The ones in the middle, I don't know. I didn't count them. It'll be that sort of deal if you want them for crafting or whatever. Those are Polaroid 150 Cool Ray sunglasses. Probably from the 1960s. The denture box is empty. It's just a box for dentures. That Bisque Putnam head is a reproduction. I assume it's probably got some pretty good age to it. This is a Mallory hat. That's like a salesman sample or whatever. It's plastic. The fedora on the other shelf that I just passed is a Stetson, but it doesn't. The Stetson does not have a box. Neat little Victorian glass wall pocket in the shape of grapes. What kind of animal is that? Butterfly won that in a contest. It was described as being a hippo. We don't know what it is. No idea who made that Mary Gregory vase. Not the best artwork, but it's pretty nice. That's an RS Prussia boot. Somebody wants this whole lot of grocery store toys they can go for one money. That's Joseph Originals. Uh, wind up music box, and that's a Moppets figure. It's probably German art pottery. That's probably a name played off of a uh, turn of the century cast iron stove made in Cory, Pennsylvania, I believe. Interesting vase. That is a Myrtlewood plaque that somebody named Ketchum painted a covered bridge on. A very large clipboard. It's a Wendell August covered bridge plate. The Lady Stetson shaver does work. Kind of 
kind of a shabby Victorian frame, but it's got neat inlays. That's a sparklet seltzer bottle. Those are kind of neat uh, Wilson cat's eye sunglasses. Mid-century. I can't believe that didn't sell last week. Rubik's Cube with dogs on it. Hand-blown amber glass ball. I think that's three little pups is the uh eight millimeter film back there pretty scarce i think there's some photos in that kind of a nice vanity box this is probably 30s brass inlaid box from india Fabric teddy bear pattern from the 20s. There's a toaster cover, never been used. It's got a picture of a toaster on it so you know what's underneath the cover when it's applied to the toaster. So you don't lose your toaster. Couple of old mercury thermometers. Uh, I ran into the tripod on the other preview on the short one and I did it again, even after moving it out of my way. The sack was the brand on that purse. These music boxes, they don't have any uh, music box in them. They come in the original box and they've got Hummel graphics. That one's got a butterfly. They're in nice condition. They just, I think somebody stole the music box for a repair or something. Those Open road for boys or like boys life uh, magazine I think they're from the 30s the one is missing the cover and both are both the other ones have loose covers oh and these things are dead animal butts looks like squirrel and a couple raccoons they stink they do like literally stink I smelled the, I pre-smelled them for everyone I'm not going to smell them again during the, the auction. Unless I receive generous amount of tips. They do stink. They are real tails. I don't know what anyone wants them for. Maybe nobody will want them. But they are there if somebody does want them. Candy's still in there. It's sealed. Nice Royal Hager vase. Some spittoons. And then over here, I got a little bit of stuff here. Not really. Nothing to get too excited about. Uh, some few masters and some stuff that's been here. I did put some other stuff out, but nothing real exciting here. Now, over here in the ephemera section, I am going to clear off these walls uh, so I can start putting up new ephemera. Uh, I used to sell on my Thursday shows. I would sell the stuff on here, like choice, like I'm doing now on the Sunday show. Do a video or whatever and show what was up here and let people make requests. I haven't done that in a while since it's uh, since spring. 
I'm going to take these all down. You're going to get all these for one money. And I'm going to sell these at noon. You're going to get everything you see on the magnet boards. They're not really magnet boards. They're cabinets and um, barristers turned backwards that I've put in stuff on. But you're going to get everything that you see all for one money. So if you're a reseller, um, have at it. Some of this stuff people might have seen in one of my last uh, paper shows that I had that I used this for. Some of it was put up afterward and no one saw it. But I'm going to start putting new stuff up and include the ephemera a little bit in my Sunday previews in case anybody wants it. But this stuff has been up here a while and I'm tired of looking at it because every time I walk by it I see it. And this stuff isn't on the magnet board here, these cabinet cards and um, there's a little cookbook and there's some funeral cards in that pouch there. But you're going to get those too. And this will sell at noon, all for one money. The magnets and the clips are not included. And this will be the first thing I run at noon in the pre-listed items. And then I'll run down through the list of pre-listed stuff. And depending on how the sales are, I may or may not pan around one more time. But I haven't been panning around after the pre-listed stuff. Um, so I may not. So if there's something you saw in the preview that you want me to run, uh, make sure you request it. So all this stuff, this is still all one lot. It's going to be a big lot. There's at least 200 items, probably 300, maybe more. Um, you're going to get all that for one money. There's tin type, there's cabinet cards, there's foreign currency, bill heads, checks, advertising, all that'll be all for one money. And that pretty much does it for the preview for today. Again, message through whatnot with your requests and I'll just run them in the order that they're received. And it starts at 10 o'clock Eastern Time.